So here is a view of the back of the lower legs and the most superficial muscle that you can see here is called the gastrocnemius. And it is actually a polyarticular muscle. So it crosses more than one joint. The gastrocnemius originates above the line of the knee joint on what are called the condyles of the lower femur. Crosses the joint, you'll notice there are two large heads here of muscle, and then the muscle converges to create a common tendon. And this is called the calcaneal tendon, or more commonly, the Achilles tendon. And the Achilles tendon inserts into the calcaneus or heel bone. So while the main function of the gastrocnemius is to plantar flex the ankle, because it crosses the knee, it is also involved in knee flexion. If we then go a layer deeper, we arrive at a large flat fish-shaped muscle and the Latin term for fish is soleus. So this muscle here is the soleus. It is monoarticular, so it originates below the line of the knee and actually joins the Achilles tendon to insert into the calcaneus. So its singular role is to plantar flex the ankle. And then if we go one more layer deeper, this muscle here, which is the tibialis posterior. So the word posterior means behind the body. So very simply, this is the muscle that runs along behind the tibia. And if we change the angle slightly, what you'll notice here in yellow is that the tendon of this muscle actually runs behind the medial malleolus and inserts into the inner arch of the foot. And we will come back to look at why it does that in a moment. And let's now make our way to the front. The muscle here that runs along the front of the tibia is the tibialis anterior. And again, if we change the angle, we'll see that it actually also inserts into the inner arch of the foot. And finally, we'll look at the lateral component of the leg. And let's hone in on this muscle here. So this is called the fibularis longus, or also the perineus longus. And if we change the angle slightly, you'll notice that there is a second muscle, which is called the fibularis brevis or the perineus brevis, and brevis simply means shorter. So there's this interesting little pair of muscles here, and they both insert into the lateral or outer edge of the foot and they are involved in eversion. So they will pull the little toe up towards you and turn the big toe to push away from you. Something that I would like to mention, just coming back to the muscles here at the back of the leg for a second, is that the calf muscles tend to be very tight for a lot of people. And yoga is great for stretching them, but in yoga, there aren't many chances to specifically strengthen these muscles. So a great way to strengthen the muscles are to do calf raises and to make sure that you're targeting all the different muscles in this region at the back here. Um, we can do calf raises with a straight leg. So literally standing with straight legs, lifting the heel up and lowering it back down to the floor. And then you can also repeat this in a seated position so that the knee is flexed. And you can even do it in a chair. You can lean forward and slowly raise the heels up and down. And we will look at some of these exercises in the practice towards the end of the module.